racist, derogatory sensitive comments deep cut into the soul of the city of Los Angeles. They're calling for two more resignations, speaking of Kevin DeLeon and Gil Cedillo, saying that's what's needed to create stability in city council. Reporting from City Hall, Natalie Tavidian, KNX News 97.1 FM. Freeway seconds away. First, you uh, might have to uh, make different plans next week. If you take a three bus. Orange County maintenance workers with the OC Transportation Authority have voted to strike. We'll start on Monday and due to staffing coverages, uh, it would likely lead to suspension of nearly all bus service in the county. Even an agreement expired at the end of September after a final offer on paying benefits from the OCTA was rejected by union leaders. Officially, they may ask Governor Newsom to get involved so both sides can negotiate past. The young man convicted of killing students at Florida High School, sentenced today. On the table, the death penalty for life in free. That story coming up right after traffic in two minutes. 1035, traffic and weather together every 10 minutes on the five. Here's Tom Tran. Of course, with President Biden in town, uh, anywhere he's going to be, you're going to find traffic implications today. Happens to be West LA area as he visits the West LA VA, which means the 405, which is typically not the Extra busy today. A lot of the side streets being affected. Ohio Avenue was sold out. Santa Monica Boulevard sold out. Anything around Westwood Village right now, just a mess. Veteran Avenue, Gailey, Westwood Plot, all of them busy. If you can avoid the west side today, do so. He's visiting the West LA VA area. So all of that is going to be affected. And it's going to be rolling closures throughout the course of the visit. When he happens to roll is when streets start getting. You don't have to be on the west side. Don't be there today. Southbound side of the 605, still busy. We had an earlier crash near Florence. Now we've got a new crash just before the 5. So it's going to keep things busy from Whittier Boulevard down into Santa Fe Springs. Uh, in Anaheim, we've got a crash southbound side of the 57, just before the 91. That's going to slow things down almost back at Imperial Highway. The westbound side of the 91, also busy, starting at Kramer Cassell over towards Parkland Boulevard. Your next report, 1045 from the Simpsons. Group 24 hour traffic center. Check our Southern California weather forecast. Still plenty of cloud cover this morning, clearing to partly cloudy skies by this afternoon. Uh, we are looking at highs today, mid 70s for beach areas. Let's see here. Uh, upper 70s for LA and Orange County Metro, mid 80s in the valleys. Mostly cloudy tonight, 50s and 60s for your overnight lows. And then tomorrow and Friday, mix of sun and clouds, 70s and 80s again. Uh, uh, right now, Riverside, 64 degrees, 70 in Chatsworth. Cloud cover, 67 in the Civic Center, downtown LA. The man who pleaded guilty for the 2018 school shooting in Parkland, Florida, will now likely spend the rest of his life in murder. The jury determined his sentence spared him from the death penalty. Gutenberg's daughter was among the shooting victims of Stoneman Douglas High School that day. And says the jury simply got it wrong. I don't know how this But 17 families did receive justice. Yes, yeah, 17 people died in the 2018 massacre in Parkland, Florida. The Broward County Circuit Judge has set the formal sentencing date. after as long as 18 months. Tens of thousands of people took part in this study by Scotland's University of Glasgow. Uh, one of the authors says it shows that certain increase the risk of long 
COVID. Among people who've had symptomatic COVID, the ones hospitalized are far more likely to get long COVID. And similarly, people who had pre-existing health conditions, particularly respiratory disease, um, mental health problems, and especially if you've than one health condition before you're infected. The study found that people who got the virus but had no symptoms, asymptomatic, were likely, uh, unlikely rather, to develop long COVID, and that vaccinations seem to help prevent long-term problems with the virus. About three quarters of U.S. adults say misinformation is leading to more extreme political views and behaviors.